Baby Cake Farmers, thank you for providing a service. If you are farming on any yield farming crypto, especially PulseX, you need to understand impermanent loss. This tutorial video is going to show you how to use this calculator so you can identify what's going on. This is the website, coingecko.com impermanent loss calculator. I will put the link in the description below. You can see here that there's four little boxes you want to look at, but all you have to do is focus on these. Asset price one, asset price two. The other numbers are the ratio. Have you noticed that they are 50-50? When you provide Uniswap Uni V2 mode, Uni V2, which is the PulseX default and others, that is 50-50, which means you are providing an equal amount on the way down and an equal amount on the way up. You are basically saying you have no bias. And don't worry because they've already done statistics and tests showing that this is actually the optimal thing to do. Most people who try to gamble with the other Uniswap V3 methods, they actually end up losing. So this is fantastic. You're gonna have a look and you're gonna play around with these numbers. If you play around these numbers, the impermanent loss is the extra loss down here. Let's go squinty mode. Let's go, baby dolls. We're going to squint. So the impermanent loss is the extra loss of coins that you're going to have from the ratio deviating. I'll explain that again. Impermanent loss is your extra loss. Don't worry about any other word after that. It's your extra loss. And you say, well, if I'm going to have an extra loss, why do I even do this? The answer is because, baby doll, you get yield along the way. That's why. So, yes, there is a loss. I'm preparing you psychologically. Yes, we plan for the loss. Just like you step in the ring, you plan to get hit. You drive on the road. Yes, you're going to be planned to drive over maybe a little pothole. This is what happens. You change these numbers. If you want to play around with them, you get to see what happens if one asset went up. 5x, so you'll do 500%, and the other asset didn't move. You're like, oh my God, a 30% impermanent loss? Yes, that's the risk with this. That's why you're, if you're in a farm, you better be compensated in the next 4, 8, or 12 weeks before this thing moves a 5x if that happens. What if they both go down? This is the unfortunate part. So what if one went minus 20% down, and what if the other one went down minus 70% down? You go, oh, so not only are you down on your US dollars, you've also lost almost 11% of your coins. Isn't that disgusting? That's the reality of it. That's why you need to be compensated for it. You can also have impermanent loss when one thing doesn't catch up to another. So what if something goes up 10x, you do 1,000%, and what if the other one went up 30x, so you do 3,000%? You're like, whoa, 12% impermanent loss. Oh my God. You gotta be compensated. Luckily for you, there is something out there called Pulse Chain and PulseX Yield Farms, and these numbers are insanely good for everybody who gets in early. It hasn't even been around the month. These yield numbers will go down. They will not stay here. They're going to go down, down. And if you want to know how low they'll go, this PulseX to Pulse, for example, this is a blue chip. This can go down to like 12%, 10%. Because what else is everyone going to do with their money? Vultures come for these yield farms. Don't ever forget that. Okay. So that's why you have to be compensated, but with these yield farming, the most compensation, your rewards come at the very start. And as more people come, everybody gets sucked in to this and they want the rewards and they're happy to take less and less risk over time. So when you're playing around with this calculator, have a look, have a show. I want you to see as well, you can actually look at a chart and figure out what your loss would be if the chart went to a certain place. So I have here the PulseX to Pulse ratio chart. This is PulseX to Pulse. This is also the ETH BTC ratio, but it's for Pulse Chain. So I have a line here. Do you see this line, right? Do you like lines? I like lines. Have a look here. You see this ruler? I also like rulers. If you press on it, clicky, all right, what you can do, if you go to the date where you personally provide liquidity, you can roughly figure out where your starting point is, where you put your coins in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume, oh, look at you, look at you over there. Let's say you got in here, 18th of May. What you'll do is you'll press on the ruler and then you will move to the today's current price, no matter where it is, whether it's here, 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 here. But look, you say, oh, today's price is up here. And then you're going to left click again. Do you see this number? 54%. Remember this number, okay? 54% is 
is the deviation between the two prices. You've provided liquidity for two things. How much did they move, right? There's a 54% net difference. This is a very quick and easy way to figure out what would your loss be. So if we go back down here and the spread hadn't moved and you said to me, oh, can we find out what my loss would be if it went up here and it squeezed our balls and our ovaries and our beaks? I'll say, yes, we can, friend. Just sit down and keep your back straight. You go back here. Do you remember that number? 54%. What you'll do is leave one of them zero, change the other to 54. It's a trick. Look at this. Your impermanent loss is 2.2%. So that's pretty small. It looks like such a big move. Okay. Now, this is very important to understand. This is not the normal. What we're seeing here has pretty much never before been seen in crypto with this reliability and with this prestige, pristine, Premium status, we have not seen this. 99 times out of 100 yield farms like this, the, the impermanent loss gets really damaging because most imperm most times you will have ETH, which is Ethereum, maybe you've heard of it, but then they'll also have poop, okay? Actual poop. And what you'll find after like a six-month period, if you go to impermanent loss calculator, Maybe you'll see ETH went up 80%, but your poop coin went down like minus 50. Disgusting. Isn't that sad? You've lost 17% extra. Your ETH gets destroyed. You've lost, you've lost your quantity of that, and you held money in the poop. This is most of the scenarios. So we are in a unique circumstance where all the liquidity is bonding itself. Now, there is still risks. Of course, this can still happen. But we're in a unique circumstance. So while the yield farms are here, you can take control of it. Play around with these numbers, friends. This is how you muck around with it. You can see what happens. Like I've done some imaginary ones. I go, okay, what if I made 50x on one coin and the other coin was a stable coin and it went zero? Look how much your loss is, 72%. So you lost 72% of your coins because you were providing liquidity at the 1x, the 2x, the 3x while everyone was gobbling it all up, gobbling it up. You know, if, if both of them go 50%, right, 50x, hey, you have no loss. But here's also the cool part. If one of them only went like 10, let's see how much it is. It's still 23%. So I'm going to be honest with you. Most people, you don't even remember how much coins you really had because this might take a long time. So yeah, impermanent loss is big. But if, if you had two coins and one went up 50x and the other went up 10x, you're not going to be too upset. Okay, so you got to plan for this ahead of time. So to, how do you mitigate impermanent loss? It's the yield rewards, okay? You get yield every day. The degenerates, what they will do is when they receive yield rewards, I'm going to go back here, okay? When they receive their yield rewards, okay, so let's go degeneracy. So you are here farming. This is your giant fork, okay? You are farming, okay? And we're going to draw a little tomato, okay? So you are farming and you get your rewards. What people will do is instead of, so this is the right thing to do. Let's do a tick of approval, a tick of friendship, and there will be a tick emoji. The tick of friendship strategy is going to be this. When you get your yield farm, so you know what? We're going to have to draw a little farm here so you can see. Okay. When we get the yield farm, you got to put it in your wallet. This is the tick of friendship. Yay. You put it in your wallet, which means you harvest the reward. You give yourself the money. You say, oh, I am in a Pulse X and Pulse um, spread. I'm in that liquidity pool. Maybe you've made $100 by the end of the week. What you should do is make put $50 into Pulse on one end and $50 into Pulse X on the other end. And that's it. You leave it in your wallet. Don't do anything else with it. That is the tick of friendship. Okay. Now, if we go into the other dark side, right, the non-ticked, dark side gambler mode strategy. This is what it is. And I think there is a casino. Yes, there is, baby dolls. This is it. And look, you know, I understand this. It has to be a red. This is how people get into trouble, all right? This is, this is what happens. When they get their yield farms, instead of, so they're not going to put it here. You know what they're going to do? They're going to go in either the same yield farm <laughs> or another one. So they'll compound. We call it compounding. Let's write this word down. Compounding. Okay. Compounding 
in most DeFi ecosystems, in most circumstances, in every other crypto, compounding is how everybody gets destroyed. Why? It's because when they compound, the yields, the rewards, they are high at the start. You know, these rewards, APR. So they're getting like $100 a week. Wow, I'm making $100 a week. I'm going to take that and then put it back into my farm. What they're doing is they're increasing their position size. They're looping it in. But then what happens later on? Later on, the spread blows out. Later on, something big happens, you know? Let's just zoom in like, oh, no. So this is actually what happens. Okay, see this box? This was them accumulating every week, every week. Like, yeah, $100, $100. But then the spread blows out and they get destroyed anyway. So all that impermanent loss that they saved for, it doesn't compensate for this giant, giant loss. That's the unfortunate part, okay? So what they'll do is they'll take those yield rewards and instead of buying, say, Pulse and PulseX and leaving it there, They'll buy Pulse and Pulse X and put it back into the farm. Got to reiterate, Pulse Chain is a unique circumstance. You can get away with murder if you do this. Most likely, they're going to correlate. It's not on me, though. Maybe they can deviate forever. Unlikely, very unlikely. Unlikely. There are other people, instead of going into this pool, what they'll do is they'll go into another super degenerate pool. They'll put it all into, like, I'm going to put this little farm. Like, like, you're going really degenerate here. High APRs, multiple coins, weed, uh, like luxury, boutique little things. These types of this this is the type of strategy that leads people to get wrecked. So they were meant to cover their impermanent loss at the start, and they didn't. You remember back in here the calculator? This what you do is should do is think of a worst case for you. Think of a worst case. Think of okay, if I enter these, what would be a terrible scenario? And now I've shown you, you can go to the chart. Luckily for you, you're a baby doll, baby cake. Okay, you can go to this chart and you can we can see, okay, what's a bad case for me? What would like really, really squeeze your ovaries? Right? And you might say, all right, it would be if the spread went again up to like 0 0.70. Like, oh, wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to draw a lot of box up here. See? This number is like such a big, big, big squeeze. So what I would do is I'm going to go back to this ruler, go down here. There are some people... They provide liquidity down here. Let's go all the way up here. You'll see what happens is 175% deviation. So this is enormous, okay? Enormous. But let's go see what happens, right? What would 175% be, right? So one of them is going to be zero, yeah? And one of them is going to be 175. Let's see what happens. You've lost 11.5% of your coins. Okay, now a lot of people are going to say, damn, that hurts. It does, but... If you keep farming your rewards and take a long-term view, you will make up the difference. You will. It's going to take time. You will. If you go back here, these rewards, see this APR, to find out how much you make per week, just divide it by 52. You can find out how much you want by day, divide it by 365. So this number is a bit high. What I like to do is I go on the cautious side. I drop the yields hard and I consider everything a, a bonus. That way you're always happy. So yes, technically what you can do is you can go, let's divide this by two. I'm going to do 67% divided by 52. You're earning 1.28% a week. So if they stayed here, you would need, what was that number? 12 divided by 1.28. You'll need about 10 weeks to make up this loss. Do you know this big, fat, disgusting loss? Yeah, you'll need about 10 weeks to do that. Okay. You'll be need about 10 weeks, but we don't have to, we don't have to stay there. So yeah, so we don't have to stay at 67%. What I would like to do, this is just, uh, you got you to be real with yourself. 67% is a lot of money for a blue chip. I would go down, I'm not even joking, to 20%. Just mentally in your mind so you're prepared for it. You do 20% divided by 52, that'll be 0. 3.8% per week earned in this. And what you would do is, let's go do 12 divided by 0 0.38. It would take you 31 weeks. But this is the reality. You go, yeah, it will take you like six to seven months to make back the difference of the loss. Yes. Yes, it's true. Okay. This is, but look what, look what I did on the chart. That was the super painful scenario. If it went up here in a straight line, that's why it's really important to be in things that are linked together. 
it's possible that this doesn't keep going up. This is just a pain scenario. So I've now already anchored in your mind, oh, wow, we could be trapped in this for 31 months. You're not even really trapped because... Think about it. If it's going up this much, probably everything's going up. So you're going to feel a bit happy because of the green and <laughs> the green candles. So it will buy you some time. But what most likely might happen, like, oh, we're back down and you know what I mean? Maybe there's a mean reversion. And you are accumulating fees. You're accumulating the yield. You get to increase your bigger bag. You're not compounding other farms. You're just adding everything on. All right. So I've now shown you, okay, that's why it's really important. Map out. The very good and the very bad scenario, very bad scenarios. What would the painful scenario be? You know, you know, you can also do it the other way. What if there are people adding today in this box, like today? So we did this example here. If you got super squeezed up, but what if people add here today? Well, they have to be prepared for this. They got to be prepared for baby doll Sommy's mean reversion if this happens. What if it drops down minus forty percent? We can go back here. See, I've left this at zero. Let's go to minus forty. What happens? Your impermanent loss is like 3.1%. So it's not as bad as that person at the at the bottom. It's doable. You can get through this. This will be what, like, um, you know, six to eight, ten weeks. This is fantastic once you know these numbers and you know what you're in for. Don't worry about this day-to-day -day junk. You can make it through this with me. You just have to plan for the worst case. And remember, none of us are winning without all the prices in the ecosystem pumping anyway. This has been your tutorial. You are my friend. Like, subscribe, bell button, or catch you in the next one.